So I try to, 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 to make that, you know, like, like a cave, that's something in there you can hardly see, you can hear it. And a bit closer is the singer, and right there's the drums really dry, and you know, to, to kind of make that landscape. My name is Soren Anderson. We are in Medley Studios in Copenhagen. The first really cool high-end reverb I, I ever worked with was um, System uh, 6000. Uh, so, I'm, of course, I'm really, really excited and happy that uh, they re-released it for Native. It's good to see them again, good to hear them again, because I love them. I love them so much. When I mix music, I have three reverbs going on at the same time. I have a short, one second reverb for guitars and, and then I have like a 3.5 long reverb, very dark for my vocals. And then finally I have a big cathedral kind of space out reverb. That's my startup point. Uh, listen to this guy, it's uh, Mike Tramp from White Lion uh, singing a pop song called Spring. Wake up, open your eyes Time has come for you to rise You've lived in darkness for too long My pre-delay is 99 milliseconds and my decay is 3.1 and then it's very warm. I mean, high cut is 1.9, high decay is 1.11. So when you listen to exactly the same bit but the whole mix, it's almost like Mike is, is really dry, but he's not, he's very wet. So that's how I use um, most of the time a vocal on reverb. The next reverb I'm gonna show you guys is um, my acoustic guitar reverb and uh, that's totally different from my vocal reverb because this is very short and a bit brighter and there's no pre-delay at all and it sounds like this. It's very short, very very short. Uh, I have the guitar delayed a little bit so it sounds a bit stereo wired. Let me, let me take it off so you can hear it in mono with the reverb. It's very, very, just a little bit, just to give Mike uh, a space to, an, an environment. Uh, because he's strumming and I don't want that to be like a, a big mess. So that's just a short kind of, you know, fast reverb. My third reverb is my cathedral, which I use on the piano theme for this particular song, but also great for like bells or big, like underwater sounds, stuff like that. Uh, it's very bright and very long and very shimmering. Uh, I have it on a piano part here, on the, on the piano theme. Sounds like this. So that's very big and really long. But again, in the whole picture, it, it just makes the piano really nice and, uh, and at the end of the tunnel there's a something nice in there, L listen to it in, in context. For people who are familiar with the interface of the M6000, it's just, it's such a gift to see it again and work with it because it's familiar and you know everything you, everything I remembered when I had it. It's just so great to have it again. And, you know, the presets are exactly the same, so my favorite presets are still there. It's cool to have, you know, that big bank of proper presets made by people from the past, and they're still working on new presets, which is cool. When you go into all the layers in, in the VSF3, there's a lot of stuff to, to fool around with. But yeah, you know, it's um, the ears. It's all about the ears. Just listen to it. And if it works, it works.